you given to sports star, Rakesh Rao, sports star, Carlson has this to say, and I quote, obviously in a historical context, he, that is Anand, is at, at least one of the top ten players of all time. And it's a privilege to still be able to compete with him. We got Anand Kiyan 50 on Wednesday, December 11th. At age 50, his world ranking stands at 50, which is a great achievement. As important, I think, as all this, as these numbers, is the fact that Anand wrought a one-man chess revolution in India. There was no one before him. No one had walked down the road, as he puts it in the book. I think uh, only have interesting stories to tell uh, at the beginning. Once they reach the ocean, uh, they have nothing left to say. And uh, his point was, I should write down everything that I think while I'm young. Uh, because later on, I might not have much to say. And uh, it's true that a lot of these uh, memories uh, inform your view of the game much later. So you, you simply forget a lot of the interesting details, a lot of the conflict in you, if you only remember the result of the highlights. And uh, so one final story is my mother. So my, I was playing one game in the Dalchus club, and uh, my mother was waiting for me at my aunt's house. So after the game, I was supposed to go there, and we'd go back together. And uh, I lost that game. <coughs> so when I reached, I imagined, I was going to And then I was going to And then she said, I was going to go to my aunt's house. And she may have been right, but this was maybe not the best moment to tell me. So uh, I remember quite vividly going home and then making a sort of mockery of the notes. I gave, I told, I gave my opponent uh, admiration signs for every move he made, questioned every one of my moves. It's not like that, you only make one or two mistakes. And uh, I basically wrote idiot for all my moves. And that maybe it was not the most helpful example, but it was a useful one. By the way, if you read the book, others may know this, but those who know, his interest in chess began with his mother because she came from a lawyer's family where they played chess. That's how it started. That's, that's an insight from the book. Now, one of his notes reads, quote, when you're almost winning, and have more time that is on the clock than your opponent, do not make a move. Pull your hand back. Get up, drink tea, wash your face, take a deep breath, then come back to the board. Do you follow this even now or do you stop it at some point? And when did you last follow these directions and beat or was it torture a well-known player? Um, the answer is I actually followed it last weekend. So, uh, I mean, one of the, my big weaknesses in chess, and in, in a way, every weakness is a strength, is a strength as well, it's just uh, when it's applied, is to play very fast. And I have this habit that as I get closer to the goal, and I think my position is winning. Uh, and you have time. I usually have time. Uh, nowadays, less often than before, but before, I used to have almost all my time thinking time left. <laughs> 